Hi guys and welcome to full subscription series for Flutter, Android and iOS. Let's get started. Firstly, we are going to go for iOS. Secondly, we are going to go for Android. Alright, now I'm going to create the project here in the VS Code and then open terminal window. Clicking on this terminal, no terminal. Okay. Now, here, our root path is there. What we can do, go to a file that we target. I will go to my uh, desktop folder. Okay, now I'm in my desktop folder. When I will go to projects folder, CD projects. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and create our starter project. We can say starter, create, sample, underscore subscription okay this is my budget it is getting created okay now we need to open that using it is called now to open that here we got this budget now we can uh, go to that folder there the budget is created and you can drag it to VS Code like this. Now the budget got open here on the VS Code. Alright. Now we can go to terminal and run Flutter run command to run it. It will be open using Google Form. But here the subsection will work for Android and iOS. Now it is going to open through the Google Form. Alright. As usual, this is our sample page. Now what I'm going to do here is stop this current running process by pressing Ctrl and C. Okay. Now we are going to register our IES budget with the App Store. We must have developer account that's under your control. Okay. Now we can uh, open this IES folder and go to a use folder there and open this runner.exe workspace that's in the white color okay this is our budget now we are going to register this in our app store here we have the bundle identifier that we target here in this target section click on this runner and in this identity you will see this bundle identifier click on this arrow button now you will be able to change this bundle identifier. For whatever bundle identifier that you will use, I'm going to say Ashwin Kondo Tashinisanga sample subscription. Okay, press enter. Now the next step is uh, register our project in our app store. For that, click on this product, click archive, and here. It shows export cloud can automate and app signing and distribution. That's a good idea because that's going to manage everything for you, including certifications, those important things that you have to manually manage. That's going to replace by this automatically thing. Let's get started. It could ask your computer person next time you had the end date. And I'm going to click all this allow because I don't want to repeatedly enter the password of my computer. Okay. Now we are going to click on this distributor. Here we are going to select App Store Connect. Create Distribute. Now that's not going to upload because you have provided your app names and other important details here. Here. For the name, make sure you require your actual app name. I'm going to say sample subscription test. Guys, uh, app like this, you cannot publish error because this is a test app. Okay. Alright, now SQ will be this one. Uh, we could change it if needed. Now I'm going to press on this next. Hopefully, there are no any others under that name. Okay, that's going to upload. We are doing this because we need to create our subscription products here in the App Store Connect. That's all. Okay. Now in the browser, we can go to App Store Connect. 
we can go to appstoreconnect.apple.com and go to apps and you will be able to see the latest app that's created here all right here we got that sample subscription test okay now what we had to do here in the below go to monetization section and you will see these subsections now here we will see this auto renewable subscriptions that shows you also have to pay uh, journey monthly or weekly and whatever period that you set here for that product this has to pay to access that specific feature of the application okay all subscriptions must be part of a group that's true users can only subscribe to one subscription in a group at the time but can change to another subscription in the same group if they do you will still receive 85 percent of their proceeds in the second year after tax is after reward all right now we are going to click on this create here we need a reference name for our subscription we can say uh ashin test app full access subscription okay this will be the group you can use whatever name you want now we need to create our subscription products here click on this create on this subscription section arrange your subscriptions in this and the order starting with the option that offers the highest level of service we can add more than one subscription to each level this order will determine where option and grade or downgrade options all right okay here for the reference name we will be able to provide the name will be used on app store connect and in sales and trends reports it won't be displayed on the app store the name found will longer than 64 characters okay that's fine what we will do we will main this as uh weekly okay now for the product ids here it gives some uh, thing here showing a unique alphanumeric id that is your store reporting after you use a product id for one product it can't be used again even if the product is deleted okay now i suggest to you to use product IDs like this first the your bundle id the bundle id will the let me check for the name of this one come to touch and show the sample function and after that put the dot and say whatever reference name that you used um uh, because you can easily identify what is this is okay now you can go ahead and create it this is going to create my first subscription product all right here subscription duration should be selected i'm going to select one week and the availability i'm going to fit it available to all countries where that's listed and subscription prices of course we are going to say the price here you can choose what's the currency that you are going to set the primary amount is yes. for example if you want to set australian dollars 10 you can go for australia aud and price as australian dollars uh let's go for 999 that is a price for a v so the price will be getting increased or decreased no i mean actually depends on the currency for example australian dollars 9 Nine nine equal to some something else in United States dollars like that. Take next. Yep, we can see United States dollars five point nine nine will be the price in that currency. Okay, now we can go then next confirm it. Okay, now for this localization. Provide the display name and description for your subscription and we we'll show this on App Store. Of course, you have provided the display name for that subscription product that will be displayed in the App Store. You can say weekly 
or let's say something like that whatever you want and you had by the description here like uh, get unlimited access to the application or no nah, that's enough okay we have to customize this depends on your app okay and pick and okay now uh, we can go ahead and save this now review information we'll only use the screenshot for our review yeah that is fine and uh, here if we check missing metadata it shows missing metadata the reason will be this uh, review information user uh, to uh, neatly to activate control of app using subscription using subscribe button all right now for the screenshot i don't have one currently so let's save it okay we don't need to uh, provide those screenshots now because we are not going to submit this app for review but hopefully if we could be able to test subscriptions are working or not that will be fine if not working maybe we have to provide this missing metadata okay now i'm going to create my final subscription product pressing on this plus button reference name will be really and of course the product id will be my bundle id trust dot it's a yearly okay now here as usual we had to set up availability and subscription price i'm going to choose australian dollars and year price let's go ahead and select uh, biggest amount okay i'm going to take this much amount from user for this this test app okay i confirm the price and the localization the display name for this will be yearly and description get unlimited access to the app for uh, one year no let's say year that's fine okay click add now i'm going to check everything okay and save it now let me go ahead and show you where you can able to see these product ids thus feeder i think we haven't provided the duration for this yearly subscription products here we had to provide the duration i'm going to do this one here and click save and okay let's go back i'm going to show you the full path to access these product ids here you will see the app information page firstly now if you scroll down you will see the subscriptions in the monetization section now you have to click on this subscription groups and here these are the product ideas that we created then we can switch to our photo project again okay now in the line we got our main dot dot that's fine that's okay now what i will do just going to do it is all in the my app pass okay now we are going to add the button to open subscription page so it is going to open all the subscription direct details in that page so users can able to see those products and subscribe to those products if needed so guys i'm going to stop this video and go into come up with another video with that part all right i hope this video helps i'm sure
Alright, I hope this video helps. If this video helps, please subscribe. Thank you.